The Earth's icy regions such as polar ice caps, glaciers, and permafrost may look like barren wastelands. Even so, in the past decades, explorers and archaeologists have helped us realize that much of mankind's secrets remain hidden in the ice. As Earth constantly changes, the melting ice reveals its secrets. From frozen lion cubs to a reindeer frozen in time, here are 20 jaw-dropping discoveries found frozen in ice. Number 20. Frozen Lion Cubs At first glance, you would think this lion cub is only sleeping. However, you're looking at a specimen revealed by researchers in 2021. Experts named this frozen Siberian lion Sparta. Although Sparta's body is in a stunning state of preservation, this lion cub is actually already a staggering 28,000 years old. For almost 30,000 years, this young one remained in her eternal slumber in her icy tomb. Sparta's golden fur is a little messy, but apart from that, she's practically untouched. Her teeth, skin, soft tissue, and even her organs are mummified and intact. Even her claws are still sharp enough to give one of the scientists a tiny prick. Apart from Sparta, researchers also discovered a second lion cub, which they named Boris. The two were found just 49 feet apart, making it seem like the two were siblings, or at least lived during the same time period. However, Further investigations revealed that while they were discovered near each other physically, Boris was 15,000 years older than Sparta. In the last ice age, mammoths, tundra wolves, woolly rhinos, bison, and saiga antelopes roamed Siberia alongside these cave lions. How did they manage to survive the drastic change and adapt? Researchers have yet to find out. After all, the Siberian Arctic was a harsh environment with its drastic changes, brutal winds, and freezing dark winters. Scientists hope that through the frozen specimen we discovered, we'll uncover more about these creatures. Number 19. Candle Box In 2021, as the Ice Age began to melt in a hidden passage in Norway, archaeologists stumbled upon a box that had been frozen in time. This box didn't look like anything special, and its content wasn't anything incredible either. Upon opening, experts didn't find hidden treasure or any important artifact. All that's inside was beeswax. This might be mundane, but it tells plenty of important information about people who used this icy road hundreds of years ago. Radiocarbon dating suggests that this box was between 1475 CE and 1635 CE, which means that it's roughly between 386 and 546 years old. And while there are older artifacts discovered around it, it's still an important piece of history. The box itself was crafted from sturdy pine and served a practical purpose. Farmers in Norway used it to transport valuable beeswax candles between their primary and summer farms. You see, in Norway, they had this practice called setterbruk, or summer pasture farming. Farmers would move their livestock from their home farms to summer pastures for grazing, and these candle boxes played a vital role in their journey. During the treacherous trek across mountain passes, farmers would pack as lightly as possible and the candle boxes provided a safe haven for these precious items. Once they reached their summer farms, these candles became the sole light source during the long nights. Imagine working from early spring to fall with only candlelight to guide you. Number 18. Toxic Mercury Scientists were stumped when they discovered that a region in the Arctic permafrost holds massive reserves of mercury. Experts believe the amount is 10 times greater than all the mercury humans have pumped into the atmosphere over the past three decades. You see, as our planet undergoes inevitable change, these frozen regions begin to thaw. And guess what happens when that icy prison begins to melt? Yep, you got it. It releases significant quantities of mercury back into the environment, and that's where things get a little worrisome. This toxic heavy metal could end up in the atmosphere and work its way through the food web potentially causing all sorts of problems. Initially, experts believed that permafrost contained little to no mercury. It turns out it's not just a little mercury hiding in there. Today, the Arctic permafrost holds the title of being the biggest pool of mercury on our entire planet. We're still unsure to what extent humans would be affected by the mercury reserves, and scientists hope that it won't affect the entirety of the planet. Number 17. 30,000-Year-Old Giant Virus with what has happened in the past four years, the entire world has learned to fear outbreaks. Throughout human history, the world has faced various diseases and epidemics, 
causing the unfortunate loss of hundreds of thousands and even millions of lives worldwide. With this being said, it's natural for people to get worried when they hear about scientists reviving a giant virus that has remained frozen in ice for the past 30,000 years. That sounds like something you'd hear in a dystopian or sci-fi movie, right? I admit that I also had an extreme reaction upon hearing this. But it's not as worrisome as you think it is. Or at least, not yet. In 2014, researchers released a study based on an exploration of a group of French scientists who examined and observed the 30,000-year-old virus. It was known as Pithavirus sibiricum, and it belonged to a class of giant viruses that were discovered about a decade ago. So far, Pithavirus sibiricum is one of the largest viruses ever discovered, measuring a whopping 1.5 micrometers in length. This virus last infected a creature over 30,000 years ago, but researchers decided to bring it back to life. However, scientists reassured that there's nothing to worry about. They're simply studying the virus, and it's nothing but a single-celled organism that isn't a threat to humans or animals. But there are more serious implications in this study. The scientists behind this groundbreaking discovery warn us that more deadly pathogens might be locked away in Siberia's permafrost. As the changing climate wreaks havoc on our planet, the permafrost is retreating and getting thinner. As the ground becomes exposed, it might unleash other ancient viruses or pathogens that have been lying dormant for centuries. This region might be explored soon as it has a lot of resources. This means a simple exploration expedition here could expose centuries or millennia old pathogens. Now ain't that a scary thought? Number 16. Unique Fossil Forests in Antarctica Antarctica, known as the coldest and driest continent on Earth, is a harsh and unforgiving environment. And so it was unexpected that several forests actually used to exist in the region millions of years ago. With its vast, barren terrain, Antarctica proudly holds the title of the world's largest desert. Yep, you heard that right. Antarctica is considered a desert because it's a harsh, desolate land. However, it used to be part of a massive supercontinent known as Gondwana. Many years ago, this icy land was a lush, humid paradise teeming with life. Hardy plants covered the landscape, adapting to the ever-changing climate, from scorching heat to freezing cold. However, the Permian extinction, or the Great Dying, swept the region, wiping out over 90% of the world species. Scientists discovered evidence of this ancient forest in the fossils they found in Antarctica. And although they've learned about the species that thrived in the region millions of years ago, it's still a question of how the adaptable and hardy species that once lived in the area suddenly disappeared. With that being said, scientists are worried that we might be undergoing an extinction period, although it's not until hundreds of thousands of years, or even millions from now, it's still quite worrisome. Number 15. 32,000-Year-Old Seed In 2012, a team of scientists achieved an incredible feat using an ancient seed discovered frozen in ice. It all started when a team of Russian researchers discovered a hidden treasure buried by an Ice Age squirrel near the banks of the Kalima River, a 32,000-year-old seed. The seeds were completely encased in ice when they were discovered a staggering 124 feet below the permafrost. Through this, scientists could extract tissues and germinate the plants, bringing them back to life. The plants that grew from these ancient seeds were identical, but had different flower shapes than their modern counterparts. Experts believe that this incredible finding could lead to the resurrection of not only ancient plants, but potentially even long-extinct species. Can you imagine the possibilities? I sure hope we don't get a real-life Jurassic Park, though. Number 14. Oldest Shoe in Norway Recently, researchers discovered the oldest shoe in Norway, and you won't believe what time period it was made. The melting mountain ice patches on the country revealed ancient artifacts in impeccable condition, and among them is a 3,000-year-old shoe from the Bronze Age. Although thousands of years have passed since this shoe was made, it remains in incredible condition thanks to the icy temperature in the region. It's because, unlike objects trapped in acidic soil or under massive glaciers, the artifacts from the ice patches have been remarkably preserved, with minimal decomposition and deformation. They're relatively stable, unmoving, and free from corrosive compounds. This means that the artifact remains undisturbed and protected from the ravages of time. These discoveries have shed light on thousands of years of Norwegian history, providing valuable insights into the lives and cultures of our ancestors. 
Just imagine, over 3,000 years ago, a man traveled through the rough road of Norway wearing this ancient shoe. And now, researchers are using it to unravel the mysteries of our ancestors' past. Number 13. Iron Age Horse In 2013, experts stumbled upon the remains of an Iron Age horse in a glacier nestled over 6,500 feet up in the mountains of Norway. This is among the first instances where scientists discovered an animal at such a high altitude. You see, this finding sheds light on an aspect of travel during the Ice Age that surprised even scientists. It seems that horses were not only used for transportation in the lower regions, but also the high alpine zones. Even during this period, horses were incredible animals that aided mankind. The Iron Age was a period in human history characterized by the use of iron tools and weapons. It marked a significant shift from the Bronze Age and brought about advancements in various aspects of life, including travel. During this time, horses played a crucial role in transportation, providing a faster and more efficient means of getting from one place to another. From crossing open plains to navigating through dense forests, horses were the engines that powered ancient travel. Number 12. Wooden Wagon Arm What does this look like to you? In 2011, this large wooden object was discovered along the upper edge of the Lenbreen Ice Patch, a region that revealed many artifacts thousands of years old, including clothing and hunting materials used by our predecessors. For this reason, many believe that this seemingly ordinary piece of wood is actually a giant tool used for horse pulling thousands of years ago. Although it looked like ordinary wood, it had a hole in its handle as well as cut marks from a knife. These distinct marks tell us that it had a deeper purpose. Experts also found similar examples in the early 20th century in China, furthering the theory that this piece of wood was used to let a horse pull a wagon or other cargo. Number 11. Freeze-dried mummies Now this might look like something you see in a horror movie, but this actually holds a lot of history. Just imagine how horrified the first people who stumbled upon these mummies were. I don't know about you, but there's something spine-chilling with the way these mummies look. These mummies were discovered in 1972 in a crevasse in Greenland. These horrifying mummies are known as the Kalekitsak. The skin, fingernails, hair, and even eyebrows of the six adults and two young Inuits were remarkably visible, making them look like dolls. In fact, experts initially mistook them as mere figures when they were first discovered. The name Kalekitsak mummies were derived from the abandoned Inuit settlement where they were found, located on the Nuasak Peninsula in the country's northwestern region. It's believed that the individuals found were likely simple farmers, and their mummification was an accidental occurrence. The sub-zero temperatures of the Greenland Peninsula acted as a natural preservative, freeze-drying the corpse over time. Quite horrifically, might I add. However, the level of preservation was truly astonishing, allowing for detailed examination of their organs and even revealing their tattoos. Subsequent research also revealed some horrifying details about the final moments of these freeze-dried mummies. The youngest corpse, a six-month-old baby who appeared to have been buried alive. What's more, the mummies were still adorned in furs, which were believed to provide warmth during their afterlife hunting expeditions according to Inuit beliefs. The freezing ground temperatures combined with the extremely dry air effectively freeze-dried the corpses, ensuring the preservation of their skin and internal organs for centuries. Among the eight bodies, the infant was the best preserved likely due to its smaller size, which allowed for faster freezing. Archaeologists discovered that three of the adult mummies were sisters. Their children were buried alongside them, an 18-year-old daughter, a 2- to 4-year-old son, and a 6-month-old baby boy buried alive with his mother. Perhaps the way they were buried alive is the very reason why these mummies evoke fear and disturbance in almost anyone who looks at them. Number 10. 3,500-year-old lunchbox in 2012, researchers announced the discovery of a 3,500-year-old lunchbox in the Swiss Alps. Archaeologists uncovered this ancient wooden vessel as the surrounding ice melted near the mountain's peak. Inside the wooden container, they found traces of food eaten by people who lived thousands of years ago. In most cases, wood and other organic material decay quickly, making it hard to study them. However, the icy and frigid temperature in the Alps helped preserve the ancient artifacts. The lunchbox was made with a round base of Swiss pine and a willow rim, and it was stitched together using splint twigs of European larch. 
With advanced chemical techniques, archaeologists were able to analyze the residue and uncover fascinating insights. It's rare to find lipid traces from cereals on artifacts, but scientists found a class of lipids typically associated with grains, specifically wheat and barley or rye. The presence of preserved plant protein further confirmed the presence of these cereal grains. This discovery allows us to learn about the dietary habits of our predecessors during the Bronze Age and shows us how food crops spread through Europe. This data will reveal yet again an unknown piece of mankind's history. Number 9. Battleground Frozen in Time In the past century, researchers discovered a battleground that remained frozen in time. Known as the White War, this conflict took place at an altitude of up to 12,000 feet in a place where temperatures reach up to a staggering negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. The White War occurred during the First World War, primarily in the Dolomites, the Ortlis Cevadale Alps, and the Adamello Presanella Alps. As in other battles, many lives were lost in the White War. Now more than a century later, the thawing ice slowly reveals the painful remnants of the fights that once occurred in this battleground. Relics and even the remains of fallen soldiers are emerging from their frozen tombs. Although identifying the fallen soldiers as a challenge without name tags, forensic experts have examined numerous remains in an attempt to discover their stories and identities. Each discovery offers a glimpse into the lives of these young soldiers who fought and perished in the freezing heights of the Alps. Number 8. Mummified Bodies of a Swiss Couple Picture yourself embarking on a mundane task, following your usual routine, only to vanish without a trace for 75 long years. Well, that's exactly what happened to Marceline and Francine de Molin, a Swiss couple who vanished in the Alps back in 1942. But now, their frozen bodies have finally been discovered on a shrinking glacier in the Alps. Marceline and Francine de Molin, parents of seven children, went missing on August 15, 1942, when they ventured out to milk their cows. Since then, their family has been trying to find out what happened to them in their final moments. After decades of tireless searching, their youngest daughter, Marceline Udry de Molin, expressed relief upon hearing the news. She shared that the discovery brings a sense of calm to their family, knowing that her parents will finally receive the proper farewell they deserve. Number 7. Frozen Foal In 2019, a group of mammoth hunters discovered the remains of a foal that was estimated to be 42,000 years old while exploring Siberia's Batagaika crater. Thanks to the permafrost, the permanently frozen ground in the region, the foal's skin, tail, hooves, and even the hair on its legs, head, and other body parts were remarkably intact. This particular foal was so incredibly well-preserved that the researchers were able to extract liquid blood from this ancient foal. Not only blood, but urine samples as well. Scientists hope to use this precious genetic material to potentially clone the long-dead horse and resurrect the extinct Lenskaya lineage to which it belongs. I don't know about you, but I'm all right with reviving a foal, or any herbivore for that matter. Number 6. World War II Era Plane It's been more than 70 years since the Second World War, but to this day, many of its remnants remain lost in different places around the world. For instance, a World War II Era Plane was just discovered in 2018 within a glacier in Greenland. With the help of a ground-penetrating radar antenna mounted on a heavy-lift aerial drone, the wreck of a P-38 Lightning fighter aircraft was discovered by searchers led by California businessman Jim Salazar. The demanding conditions in the region made the search for this aircraft more challenging. The entire search team needed hundreds of thousands of dollars of funding to succeed in the operation. After all, cutting-edge technology comes with a hefty price. Salazar and his team hope to recover more of these wrecks to bring closure and honor the service members who lost their lives in the war. Number 5. Five Crates of 100-Year-Old McKinley Whiskey Does anyone want whiskey on the rocks? This one was cooled by nature itself for an entire century. In 2010, a team involved in the restoration of an Antarctic hut, which was utilized by the renowned polar explorer Ernest Shackleton over a century ago, uncovered an intriguing discovery. The team recovered five crates of scotch whiskey and two of brandy from the hut left behind during Shackleton's expedition over a hundred years ago. Although some of the bottles had cracked due to the icy conditions, the restorers are confident that the five crates contain intact bottles. In fact, they can even hear the liquid sloshing around when the crates are moved. 
You're probably wondering who would try to obtain this liquor. Well, upon the announcement of its discovery, the original distillery, White & McKay, immediately reached out to try and obtain the samples to recreate the original brew. They hope that once the contents are verified, safely extracted and analyzed, it may be possible to replicate the original blend. Since the original recipe is no longer available, this finding could offer a remarkable glimpse into the past. Would you be interested in trying this centuries-old spirit? Number 4. Let's see the Iceman. Thousands of years ago, high up in the stunning Alps, a man was going about his daily life. Little did he know that his story would be among the most talked about by archaeologists and historians of the future. Fast forward to 1991, when a couple of hikers stumbled upon his remains. Experts believe he lived around the early Copper Age. He spent his years navigating the rugged landscapes of what is now modern-day Italy and Austria. He belonged to a long-forgotten period when humans were just beginning to master the art of metalworking. What makes him so unique is that Utzi's body, clothing, and belongings are incredibly well-preserved. Utzi's skin, organs, and even his stomach contents have endured the test of time, offering unprecedented insights into his diet and health. But who was he? How did he die? These questions continue to fuel scientific investigations and spark spirited debates among experts. The circumstances of his death remain a subject of intrigue, as Itzi was found with an arrowhead lodged in his shoulder, suggesting a violent end. Was he a victim of a territorial dispute? A hunter caught in a deadly encounter? His equipment was mere stone tools, a copper axe, a bow, and arrows. Although these are nothing but simple crafts, Utsi's body, bags, and clothes tell us a lot of important things about ancient history. Number 3. Woolly Mummified Mammoth In 2022, a gold miner stumbled upon an incredible discovery in the unforgiving landscape of Yukon, Canada. Although it wasn't a precious metal, what he found was worth its weight in gold. The remains of a woolly mammoth. Geologists studied this frozen mammoth after a young miner deep in the Klondike goldfield stumbled upon the remains while digging up muck. It was a lucky find. The locals lovingly named her Nunchoga, which means big baby animal in the Han language. Nunchoga is the most complete mummified mammoth ever found in North America. Experts believe that Nunchoga was with her mother, but the little lass ventured too far and got stuck in the mud leading to her demise. This discovery provides us with a unique opportunity to study and learn about the lives of woolly mammoths, their behaviors, and their adoption to the harsh environment of the Ice Age. After all, woolly mammoths are interesting subjects in the field of paleontology. These creatures, reminiscent of modern elephants we see today, were massive and had thick fur and enormous tusks. However, these creatures braved the frozen tundras tens of thousands of years ago. Number 2. Grasshopper Glacier According to the Entomological Society of America, or the ESA, there are over 10 quintillions of insects on Earth. That's number 10 and 18 zeros after it. To put that into a better perspective, there are about 1.4 billion insects per person on our planet. And so, it's not surprising that even in the most inhospitable and uninhabitable landscapes on Earth, there are insects. In the Beartooth Mountains of Custer National Forest, about 70 miles southwest of Billings, Montana, is the Grasshopper Glacier. As its name suggests, this frozen chunk of ice is extraordinary as it's the final resting place of tens of millions of extinct grasshoppers. Sitting 11,000 feet above sea level, this glacier looks like the rugged, wrinkled skin of an elephant instead of clear, white ice. But how exactly did these creatures end up in this icy tomb? Researchers believe that centuries ago, a massive swarm of locusts migrated over the Rocky Mountains, but the swarm was coincidentally trapped by a massive winter storm. The ice preserved the entire swarm, leaving them frozen for generations to come. These grasshoppers aren't ordinary insects either. In the early 1900s, a geologist named J.P. Kimball stumbled upon the grasshopper glacier and gave a sample to researchers. It was then that scientists realized the insects were from an extinct species that are no longer on our planet. This glacier might just be a massive chunk of ice with insects entombed in it, but many consider it a wonder. However, with the increasing temperature of our planet, the grasshopper glacier is getting smaller daily. And now it's time for today's topic. As temperatures get warmer, researchers are taking advantage of this change to explore the frozen parts of Siberia and what they discovered frozen in ice shocked the whole world. 
Many have dared to explore the uncharted regions of this frozen landscape. However, many weren't successful. Some of these explorers failed to return from their journey. Those who did manage to go back claimed that there are dozens of people like those captured in this photograph. There are rumors that many of these haunting frozen creatures remain suspended in time within Siberia's vast icy expanse. However, whether these theories have any grounding in reality remains a mystery. I can't deny that there is a huge possibility that those who perished in their journey are still stranded, frozen in ice. Number 1. Reindeer Frozen in Time In 2010, children who visited a country park had a slightly different experience that left some of them confused and scared. Most of the children visited Whitworth Hall Country Park in County Durham to see reindeer, and while they did see the majestic animals, several of them were in an unexpected state. Several stags and deer broke through the barricades, falling into the freezing lake and subsequently dying. Many of the animals' bodies could be seen half-exposed through the ice, and it was a pretty horrifying thing to see, especially for children. Visitors, especially parents, expressed their concern about the sight. They claimed their children were distressed and felt uncomfortable seeing the exposed bodies in the ice. However, the park staff claimed that although they wanted to rescue the deer, it was reckless to cross the frozen lake, and with so many of the animals falling into it, it would be a difficult feat to rescue all of them. Park staff also claimed they tried putting hay bales and food around the park to coerce the deer away from the frozen lake, but because it was all white, the animals continued to walk across like it was solid ground. Now imagine, most of the kids who went to the park wanted to see Santa's reindeer only to see said magical animals frozen in ice. What else do you think is left hidden in ice? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.